welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am recycling and reusing some old china teacups because you know I am a hoarder of china teacups. Can't say no when people are throwing milk, so I'm like, oh my god, I could do something with them. So today, I have turned some teacups into bird feeders. I made myself like a lovely little feature in my garden using a pallet that I had just laying around, um, chopped it up, and I made myself a fancy posh bird feeding station for the birds. So that is what I'm gonna share with you in today's video. So the first thing I did was I had a pallet and I had chopped it in half because if you watch my kind of garden party video, I had used the pallet as some tables. Um, I had a really chill kind of like rugs and cushions and we all sat on the ground and I used these pallets as little tables. So one of them I have used on the wall. So all I did was I painted it pink. I had a tin of garden paint sitting in the shed. Um, I think it's called Cherry Blossom is the colour. And thankfully there was enough to paint my palette. So I gave it like two coats, well one and a half coats. I went over the front piece twice. I added my palette to a wall. Now, the weight of this, if you do choose to do the palette and make the actual kind of bird station the way I did, the weight of the palette is quite heavy. Well, it's not that heavy, but you would have to put it on like a cement wall. If you put it on maybe a wooden fence, the weight of it, um, it could break because the weight of all the china then when you add it on. So just bear that in mind. I use some masonry nails and a little hook. I don't think you can see the hook when um, it's on the wall. So I literally just, lifted on the palette so I can lift it off so there is a hook and then loads of masonry nails holding it in place so I had to use my masonry drill bit um, to drill the hook into the wall so you might need help with that that's the only strenuous bit of this DIY so I am now going to show you how I made my little teacup bird feeders and um, my trusty Gorilla Glue is back out in this DIY you've seen it in my last DIY and um, basically it's the same bottle I used it to attach some legs to a cabinet like back in December and it's the same old bottle that I'm using and I've glued everything with it so this is really strong and durable for this DIY. So here is how I made my teacups.
So that is my finish. Teacup, posh, china, bird feeding station. I don't really know what to call it. I always feed wild birds in the garden because I love sitting at the kitchen table in the morning, having your cup of tea, putting your makeup on, whatever. You look out, there's loads of birds. Um, it's really nice. But a common thing I get asked is, how do Pepsi and Blondie not chase the birds, try and kill them, um, and do natural cat things? Well, first of all, they don't seem too arsed. <laughs> so both Pepsi and Blondie have bells on them, but they actually don't really bother with the birds. And birds aren't as stupid as you think. Um, anytime Blondie has gone to chase them, they get away pretty quick. But I do know some cats are relentless at hunting. Um, thankfully mine aren't, so this you may need to skip this DIY if your cat um, chases the birds. You can also hang these teacup bird feeders out of trees as well. Um, so you don't have to do the pallet, you can get really creative, hang them out of trees. Maybe you have a fence, add some hooks into a fence um, and hang them and dot them around the garden for a little bit of fun and a bit of interest. Another big tip is, as with all bird feeders, clean them out. So maybe once a week, once a fortnight, especially if it's after kind of rained on them, I find the seed can get kind of mushy. So make sure you clean your bird feeders, and this is for all bird feeders, um, just to stop any like diseases or like upset tummies in the birds. <laughs> Another little tip with the birds as well, naturally when the birds eat, what do they do? They poop. <laughs> so all my bird feeders I have over grass, so at least if they poop, and they poop into the grass, is that myself? I know this is like TMI, but I know some people who've like hung bird feeders over like paths and there's just loads of like bird poop. And um, so hang it over grass or hang it somewhere that like you just mow the lawn and then the poop is gone. And um, so just bear that in mind. Naturally when they eat, they poop. A bit like ourselves. I also want to say hello this week because the lovely Louise Pentland, who's like a huge YouTuber, um, she gave me a shout out, my flower wall video um, on her vlog that was up on Sunday Just Gone and it was so lovely and so nice. I love when like YouTube is such a lovely community so when someone gives you like a shout out or a mention it's just, it gives you all the feels so anybody who has come over to my channel and watched my videos after seeing Louise mention my channel, hello and I hope you sub and stick around. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my videos too. So that is me for this week ladies. I will be back next week. In the meantime you can catch me over on Instagram. I'll pop my handle here. You can DM me over on Instagram. As always let me know if you give this a try. Tag me in your pictures. If you are new to my channel please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you all in next week's video everyone. Bye!